Sneaking into the holiday windows is an annual treat for New Yorkers. But holiday dolls are not what dress this Fifth Avenue window. Rather, two live models undressing. Yeah, oh, yeah that's yeah. what I wanted. Among other things, these girls take it off, put it back on, apply their makeup, all in front of a gawking crowd, all to promote the clothing brand XOXO. It's voyeurism at its best. Don't really think of it as a peep show. I mean, to me, it's a bit more artsy than that. It is, I mean, I playfully sometimes call it a window theater because to me, we did kind of an off off Broadway set and it's a play on voyeurism. Whatever you call it, people can't help but look. Of course, especially the men. What do you think? Hey, how's it going? Hey. <laughs> hey. What do you think? I'm making a documentary on uh, window displays. Oh. But. Their reactions vary from curiosity to sheer glee. Hey, I'm single. You want to send me in there? I got no problem. I think it's great. I think uh, it works, and uh, they're selling lingerie and other clothes. And where can I buy it? <laughs> You've been listening into a lot of the guys in our conversation. Well, guys will be guys. <laughs> Hang out on a street corner. That's what you get. <laughs> you probably have no idea of what these guys on the outside are 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 saying. I mean, tell tell me, scream or knock, like just right now. Like we can tell what they're trying to like catch our attention or what they're trying to say and. And whenever we can sense when, when someone's trying to take a picture of us, all that stuff. You would think the hardest thing for these girls would be to take off their clothes in front of crowds of people. But actually, the hardest thing for them is biding their time while they're in here. They chat, they text, update their Facebook accounts, all while ignoring the faces pressed up against the windows. That's not good. Poop and scoop. And they can't help but laugh at all the fuss. I don't know, I think this whole thing's a funny, weird social experiment, and I love, I love these guys that are like 50 and 60 years old, and all of a sudden they're like reduced to these 12-year-olds. They're like, oh my gosh, boobs. I love it. Oh, well, at least it's a nice little holiday gift for these mesmerized men acting like boys. Bonnie Ghosh, The Associated Press, New York.